Greetings, greetings, greetings. This is Prophet Wes. I want to encourage someone. I want to speak life into someone today. Today, I want to speak life. You will not die, but you are going to live. You have been surrounded. You've been circled around negativity. You've been walking around negativity. You've been uh, listening to negativity uh, at night. Thoughts have talked to you. Thoughts have said to you, this is it. You're going to die. This is you're going to take your last breath. It's going to be over. But against all of those voices, I speak against it right now. In the name of Jesus, I speak life. You will live. You will not die. You will not die in your sleep. You will not die alone. You will not die. You will not die, but you will live to declare God's word. You will live to declare God's name. It doesn't matter what the, the locust and the cankerworth may have eaten up. God is going to restore to you life. He's going to restore to you wisdom. He's going to restore to you joy. He is going to open up your eyes where your eyes have been closed. He is going to cause those things that, that you've tried and you've been hoping that happened. They are going to happen. Every door, every door, every negative door that's been closed, it will stay closed. Every door that's supposed to be open that's closed in your that's closed in your face. You've tried, you've tried, you've tried to, to, to seek God. You've tried to become encouraged. You tried to stand. Even in those places where you felt like falling down, you felt like giving up. You feel weak from the pressure. You feel weak from the discouragement. You feel weak. It seems like every day you wake up. It feels like every day you open up your eyes, there's something new something new bad bad as it seems like you've been a a living slept route trouble has followed you but i come to speak to you today the trouble is over your trouble is over your pain is over your hurt is over your discouragement is over you are going to live you're going to live you're going to you're going to arise god's word is going to lift you up in that dark place in that dark situation like expect light to come expect joy to come expect understanding to come and those people who've walked away those people who've walked away for no reason at all that you don't know of. See, they were on assignment. They were on assignment by the adversary to, to, to destroy you, to discourage you, to get you to doubt God. But God, as they walked away, God is sending new people in. God is sending new people on assignment in. And for, you're going to receive double for your trouble. All the trouble that you've been through for what you've been through. You've been backstabbed. You've been betrayed. Uh, you've been uh, discouraged. You've been uh, stabbed. Uh, you've been hurt and all those things. You've been cast away. People have talked to you, talked about you, saying that you weren't good enough, saying that you weren't good enough to speak. You weren't good enough to live. You weren't good enough to uh, to exist. Even some you've spoken to you that your mama wasn't nothing. Your daddy wasn't nothing. You're not going to be nothing at all. But all of those voices of the gang say uh, they are cursed. I cursed them with a curse. Life is coming to you again. Joy is coming to you again. Every every troubled place, every place you are facing, you are facing even something troubling right now in your relationship. Your relationship is on the rocks. It's on the rocks. It seems so discouraged. It seems like it's over. It seems like it's doomed. But just like with Lazarus, when Lazarus was dead for four days, it seems like he was doomed. But Jesus came on the scene. He spoke life. He called him by his name, life. And he came for, he came for, even though he was bound, he came for. Then the bands that was on him, they had to become loose. Even you right now in your tomb, your tomb of discouragement, your tomb of pain, your tomb of bewilderedness, your tomb of hurt. Your tomb of, of curse, the curse, there's a generation of curse that's been pulling you down. It seems like what happened to your mother, what happened to your grandmother, what happened to your grandfather, whatever is fighting you, is trying to knock at your door. But today that curse is over. That curse is done. And from this point and from this day forward, I tell you to come out, come out of that dark place, come out of that hell, come out of that pain. You will not walk in pain. You will not live in pain. The voices that have been speaking to you, they are going to die. I speak death to them. Those voices are dying and I speak a new voice. That voice is life. That voice is joy. That voice is saying come up higher. That voice is saying uh, come up higher and, and see me. That voice is saying you will live. That voice is saying you will eat the fat of the land. That voice is saying that you're going to receive the abundance, abundance of life, abundance of joy. You will be drawn. You will drawn, be drawn by God. God is drawing you higher. God is drawing you deeper. Deep into the abyss of his power. Deep into the abyss of his wisdom. God is wanting you to come a little deeper. Even through your pain 
pain and through your dark place. It, you thought it was discouragement. You thought it was over. You thought that the pain was cursed. You thought you were living on a curse. But in the pain, the plain, the dark place that you're living into, that place there's coming revelation. There's coming light. Even your dark place, God is speaking life. God is speaking joy. God is giving you a new wisdom. God is giving you a new understanding. God is opening up your eyes that you can see. He's keening your eyes open. God is giving you a new assignment. God is giving you new wisdom. God is giving you a new body. God is giving you a new mind. God is giving you a new life. God is renewing your life. God is renewing you. God is bringing you up out of the darkness. God is bringing you up out of the muck and the mire, out of the confusion, the voices that are around you. God is causing those voices to become stopped. Even those voices, God is bringing life. God is bringing life in your dead situation. Those things, those places, those people that's talked about you. God is, God is stopping their mouth. God is causing their mouth to become silent. God is silencing the gang sewer. And also what God is doing, God is proving you. Even those things, those situations, those, those situations, those people that have kept you down. They talked about you. They said you were going to be nothing. They said you are going to amount to nothing. Even from that, even from them, God is going to elevate you where, you, where they're going to see you. They're going to see you in his hand. They're going to see you become an elevated with wisdom. They're going to see you become elevated with authority. In Jesus' name, life. I speak life.